And the second thing that we're going to need to follow this course is going to be IDE or Integrated Development Environment. And we have many options, right? We can use Eclipse, we can use NetBeans, but what we're going to be using is going to be IntelliJ or here J. And over here, if we just type IntelliJ, or here it takes us to JetBrains, right? And over here, we're just going to click it over here. And right away, the first thing over here, you can see that this is going to be download. All right, so we just bravely click download. And over here, this is going to be the ultimate package, right? Where we basically need to pay. However, we do get a free trial. And obviously, with a paid package, you get more uh, resources, more options, right? But we can just go over here to the community one, which we can download for free. And we never need to pay anything, right? So over here, we'll just say over here, right? So we don't need to subscribe anything, right? And over here, you can see that it's actually start downloading. And once the download is complete, we just press it over here. And you can see that it actually starts verifying, right, over here. And we we're just going to have to wait a little bit, right? And the moment it's actually done, it says over here finishing. And now what we need to do is actually drag it to our applications, right? So we're just going to grab this folder and place it over here. And now this is going to be in our applications. You can see that it says over here that it's copying, right? And again, we're going to have to wait like a few seconds over here, right? And the moment is going to be downloaded. We're going to start setting up our Intelli. J ID, right? So the moment it's actually done, over here like this, we can go to our applications, right? We can find where it is, and I can just open it over here, right? And what I'm going to do over here, I'm just going to say for the options right away, and I'm going to say that I would want to keep it in the dock, right? So here it's going to say open, right? And now it's going to start opening over here, and let's just keep it in the dock. Now we're just going to have to wait a little bit, right? And now you can see that it actually starts downloading IntelliJ over here. And we're just going to have to wait again. And over here you can see that we have a create a new project. And the only difference might be that I already have installed the IntelliJ before. So I'm not going to have your welcome screen, right? But for your welcome screen, what you can always do, you can just press on the left hand side corner right all the way left bottom you can say that there's going to be skip all and just install defaults right that would be the easiest way and then then you're going to come back over here to the screen right and over here what we would want to do is we would want to do configure right because we would just want to make sure that our, actually our sdk is working right and we would do that over here by project defaults right and over here this is going to be project structure and then we're going to go over here and this the project sdk right there should be a version over here if you have something like this then you need to go back over here new right then we're going to go to jdk and this is where when i was talking about a actual path right this is where you would show the path right now you can see that it automatically it has it for me right and you can see that this is going to be the same thing right library java java virtual machines and then over here nine however if you don't right just remember how to find the path and then over here you need to select it now i have two options right so i'm just going to pick number nine over here right and then i'm going to click ok and another thing that i'm going to do right away which and you can do it the same or you can not do it it doesn't really matter it's up to you right we're going to go with preferences and over here with appearance right and theme over here you can see the white one is going to be default and we're just going to go with dark yellow over here like this right so these are going to be two major well one is major or the other one is ma minor things that we need to check right before we want to start actually creating projects and in the next video we're actually going to start creating our first intellij project